hello guys and welcome to gemini soul this is going to be a little different message today this is going to be a weekly message and it's a collective message so hopefully it resonates with you guys if it doesn't it's okay maybe the next time we'll connect i just ask for your support that if you enjoy the energy you want to claim the reading or you find that something in this reading has been very helpful for you. Some of you may have to come back at the end of the week and check this message out, okay? Um, I just ask that you give me a thumbs up to support me. That's all I ask. You can definitely comment below. I love to hear you guys' comments. So we're going to get into this message. The first thing I want to ask the Spirit for you for the week collective is what energy with the spirit guides like you to take on is your personal energy to be aware of and then we're going to ask the spirit guides um, for some advice and if you follow the advice potential outcome okay so it's a pretty quick reading it's just the week's reading now this could resonate now i could resonate later with you Keep, please keep that in mind. All right. Spirit guides, what energy is it that you would like the collective to empower this week? What to be aware of? And, well, guidance. So I would say, and the spirit wants you to be aware of you know this is a tarot card and this is a reader um and it's being aware uh some of you i feel the spirit is saying focus right now maybe you're doing a couple of different things and there's a message i mean i can't help but accept this energy as your guide today that there is a message that may be here for you, and the universe is telling you pretty much to pay attention to the message you're about to receive. So I feel the universe is saying the energy that they would like you to be in this week is uh, in the area of receiving uh, intuitively. Any messages that may be coming in that you may feel that you actually needed some help with there may have been a question but i'm feeling spirit is saying be open-minded to this message to the message that is about to be shared with you i don't know it at this time my spirit guides are bringing it out so that you can empower within yourself and i'm hearing like Maybe relax your mind so that you can hear the message. Some of you may be moving about. Maybe you could be driving or um, you could just be washing dishes. You could be cleaning up. And some of you could actually just, you know, I, I feel like the universe wants you to just pause for a minute and pay attention to the messages that's coming in. Now, this may, some of you may pull your own cards a week. And the universe is telling you, pay attention to those messages. If I'm a reader that you like to connect with uh, weekly, I'm also feeling the universe is telling you the energy they want you to be in is receiving, paying attention to something because it must be very important to help you on your path this week. Okay. All right. So the energy wants, the spirit wants you to embrace energy of listening feeling so that you get an understanding of something this week mm. we also have hmm this We have simplicity here. I also feel like the universe is telling you 
in this message that simplicity is it's uh it's going to work out in your favor play your own song do things your way and it's also like the spirit is saying whatever message you get when you take it in do it your way what feels good to you what feels good to your heart I'm seeing a lot of black and white in this card. I'm seeing almost like a checkerboard. Like, you may feel that at this point in time, you're playing a game that you're not sure if you're going to win. I don't know why I'm hearing that. But this week, or you may even feel that perhaps the way you've been showing up is a strategy, a game of, of you trying to figure out the correct path, the right people, the right thing you should be doing this week. So you may be faced with an option, choices this week. I'm feeling like, and the universe is like, we're going to give you the answers to it, but You're going to have to really be, be sure that this is what you want is another thing that I'm hearing. That is something that it is going to make your heart sing. This means that be honest this week. This is also what I'm hearing. Some of you need to be honest with yourself and some of you are going to need to be honest with someone around you or a situation around you. This could be a workspace. Some of you may need to play your favorite song. Um, this person is playing a guitar, right? I'm, I'm hearing like magic and music. I'm even hearing structure, building. I'm also hearing like there may be something, I'm not, it's like some of you may be decorating your home. You're coming up with a color or a, a theme that you want your home to look like. Maybe you're investing in your home now. Maybe there's a home you're going to be invested in. If you keep an open mind, don't be afraid to share or express yourself is what I'm hearing. But express yourself. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I'm still a little under the weather. Express yourself in a way that is true to you is what I'm hearing. Maybe you haven't been expressing yourself that way. All right. So advice to you from the spirits. Hmm. is to meditate. So the universe wants you to meditate. I'm seeing like whatever answers you've been waiting on is coming. You may even feel that something around you has been um, off balance or there is a knowing about something around you or within you that you really want to ensure that whatever this move is feels good within your soul. If something's changing in your life, if you're collabing with someone, make sure you're opening up and you're being honest. If there's a question you need to ask someone, the spirit is saying do it in a peaceful way. But if you feel, I can't help but feel you may feel someone's not being honest with you. And maybe that's what you're this week working through. Something that's dishonest. 
Now, it doesn't have to mean that it's a bad thing, you know. Let's get some terror out here and see what's going on here. Because I feel there's something else here. Spirit, why is the guidance card here? The young lady with the tarot card. It's clearly, there's a message. What is this message? Oh, it's the sun. The message is about the sun. This is about your happiness. So I feel that some of you are truly trying to make a decision in your life that has to do with happiness and clarity and truth. But this truth comes from within you first. But whatever the outcome in, the spirit guide is telling you be Right, because clarifying the energy they want you to be in is the sun, and the sun is happiness. Also, in a state of being able to receive the message clearly, and I feel the universe is saying the more you raise your vibra vibrations, the more happier you feel, like the enzymes in your mind releasing this week, the more happier state you're in the more clearer the information will be for you or the answers that you're asking or the support that they're going to give you this week, you need to be in that state in order to be able to receive the downloads, the, the energy that they'll be directing towards you this week. Energy meaning other situations around you. Okay. see what else we have here spirit what else we have here spirit oh, that's a lot let's do it one more time guys what else do we have here spirit that wheel of fortune and nine of cups this is so beautiful and then we have the ten of wands and the five of swords it's like, I'm not going to take these cards because I'm not told to take it, but it's like the Ten of Wands, something is over. The Five of Swords, something that you've been fighting for or been indecisive about is over. Oh, I just, I just heard a contract's done. A contract that was very burdensome to you. You may not even know this. Right, because the wheel of fortune can talk about karma too. I feel that the universe, this is what the universe wants you to know. This is the information that's coming in. I'm also hearing you can now play your own song because that contract is, it's done. And there's a new beginning here, uh, a, a better future. I'm also hearing like the the karmic if there was a karmic relationship that you were in and you've struggled for quite some time to get past it to get over it or just to really understand uh, what was next or how to move on the the universe is like you don't have to worry about that anymore that contract is done that karmic like you've been released from a karmic a karmic situation This is the information the universe wants you to know this week. And the way they're supporting it is the Nine of Cups, a wish fulfillment. Some of you have probably been wishing to be disconnected from a contract or to be released from a contract or for a contract to work out in your favor. I'm hearing the reason this contract works out in your favor is because it's time for the new contract. Now, if this is a relationship or a job or a situation that you left behind that was the ten, because we had the ten of wands and the five of swords, represents hard times, represents fighting for something, represents actually being tired of fighting for something or fighting several times of just carrying and burdens. And it was uh, something that you was very passionate about. It could have been a relationship that, was very karmic or a contract just say 
if you were married and you got a divorce, the universe is telling you that, and I know some people like, well, they don't believe in divorces, don't believe in contracts. Let me tell you, the universe doesn't want you to be unhappy. And we all make mistakes. We're not 100% un... What, what, how could you say this? We're not 100% unable to make mistakes or to always choose the right direction. Sometimes we invoke our free will. And even when we do that, the universe still stands by us. It's, it's just you have to now work through the choice that you made. The Nine of Cups is celebrating. This this Nine of Cups looks like this information comes in. Perhaps something really happens for you this week that really opens your eyes up to the possibilities. And I feel this because with uh, meditation, you've done a lot of soul searching, cleansing, your aura, and very much protected at this time. And the universe is going to show you that. But you have to be open-minded to perhaps what the outcome may be because this may, with the tarot card, this is you looking for answers. And if you're looking for the answer, then the universe is telling you now. You don't have to worry about, you know, you could have had a contract with a Leo. The sun card represents Leo. Um, but you could have Leo in your chart. We all have, you know different zodiac signs, whether it's the sun, the moon, the rising. But I feel that there is about to be, with the wheel of fortune, it's like something turns now. This is a major arcana. The wheel of fortune is major. The sun card is major. These are two major parts in your life that you can't, that, that the universe is like, it's going to happen. This this is what's going to happen. And this is, you know, I always feel that major arcana is only the time when we invoke our free will and the universe really knows what's best for us. Maybe we're in a place of uh, truly going down the wrong road or we're in a place that is truly holding us back from going down the road that the universe needs us to go through for healing, for, you know, uh, it could be recovery, for understanding, for more love, for more opening, opening up, more commitment. So the universe is telling you this week, be open to messages that will be coming in to you. I'm feeling like no blockage. With the meditation and song, maybe even dancing, playing your favorite song. And, and something it feels is going to be so simplified for you. Something you've been waiting on to come in, it's going to be simplified for you. Uh, so that you can understand that it's okay. This is also what I'm hearing this week. The universe is opening you up and wants you to be open so that you know it will be okay to celebrate. It'd be okay to dream again. If this is something that you've gotten over, you've let go of, you're feeling great about it, but you still have some doubts about maybe a situation around you or some people around you, the universe is saying it's okay because at the end of the day, the universe wants you to be happy and it has taken away a contract or a karmic connection that you may be aware of or may be coming in this week that you are aware of. Now, how could that happen? Collective, you finally get that divorce. It finally settles. Um, you finally get that fortune or something out of nowhere, funds come up that you didn't expect or didn't know. Someone shows up for you in that manner you start to feel more open and love and secure within yourself or you just start to feel like things are starting to go your way that will be the sign that you have released 
whether you were a karmic to this person, this person was a karmic to you. I feel like that contract has is done. I also feel that by it being done, another way you will know is this person has moved on or you hear they're moving on. Like with the tarot, that also, it just talks about a message from the divine, a message that the divine needs you to hear for support. So if you hear gossip, I'm not saying gossip, but say you see something on the internet or um, maybe it's on Facebook or Twitter or whatever those, um, you know, things are, you see this person moving on or you get a message from someone that messages you about someone that you, you know, felt you couldn't get rid of the connection or the feeling towards them. And something's going to make you feel good to let you know, like you should feel a difference in your body, in your soul, that something's done this week. That is what I'm hearing. This connection or a connection or something karmic has been or will be released out of your life this week. And the reason it happens or the universe is telling you that is because of the nine of cups, because there's something else that they want you to focus on that you'll be able to celebrate with. You know, this nine of cups, they got the little glass of wine, their feet is kicked up. This is telling me that this week something powerful is about to happen for you that you've been waiting on, waiting answers because you start off with the tarot, you know, <clears throat> It's like you finally get the answer. You finally get the clarity. You finally get the go. You finally get to move towards a better and healthier position in your life. This is what I'm hearing. This may not be for all. This is just a quick read, guys. I, I don't know. This is what I was called to do. I don't know if it's going to resonate with any of you. Let me get one more card out here for each section, and then I'm going to close it out. Advice, seven of wands. I feel like the advice is to keep your, you know, stand your ground. Um, when it comes to a certain situation, there may be something comes towards you that you may have to speak up about. You may have to stand your ground. And look at this, ten of swords, right? And something has come to an end some karmic long disappointment could have been years could have meant a mental state a mind state that i feel is much more with you having the boundaries and the trust within yourself and i also feel you having these boundaries with yourself like telling yourself listen that's over and i'm moving on now i need to I'm also hearing they've moved on. Are you moving on? Maybe they've moved on and you haven't moved on. Well, this week, you'll get the clarity that it's time for you to move on. Just say if you've moved on and they haven't moved on. This week, you get the clarity that something karmic, a contract has been finished, is done is what I'm hearing. And there's something to celebrate. Now, it could be what comes out of the situation. That may be the celebration. Yes. We got the tower card here. It's for the benefit of everyone. It's for the benefit of everyone moving on and a start, a fresh new start. That doesn't mean that everything is crumbling, you got to start. No, it just means the universe is clearly moving these things out of your way this week or you'll have the knowing and understanding this tower is major so it's there is nothing you can do to keep it from happening the universe is doing this to clear things and yes the reason it's being cleared is because you had the ten of swords you could have been yeah very disappointed in several situations and those ties there could have been several people that you had ties or karmics or things that, uh, in, that just was so disappointing and hurting in the time's up. I also feel this may be a time of good healing this week, meditation, of clearing the air, feeling good about yourself, and accepting that 
Yeah, whatever you did, whatever part you played, whatever part someone else played, that it's done. That you don't have to worry about this anymore. I also feel you'll feel a lifting in your soul this week. Something will change within you. Something you will feel within your heart. You'll feel in your mind. Maybe you'll rest more. Or maybe you will do something um, that you haven't did in quite some time. And it's going that will prove to you that you have released some contract or karmic. Okay, that, I don't know who this is for, guys. If it sounds like it or you got to go to the end of the week and then come back, definitely come back and let us know if you already worked through this because energies, we're all on different paths. You could have already worked through it and it sounds just like your story or you can feel that this shift is happening in your life right now is what I'm hearing. Okay, so that is what I have for you, collective. Uh, you don't have to worry about this karmic situation or this contract. The universe is telling you that they've taken care of it for you, that it's done. Whether this person needs to move on or situation needs to move on away from you, or you have decided to move on and you never thought something would move on and clear your energy, but I feel your energy is being cleared this week, and you're going to feel it. Okay? And that is what I'm hearing. All right. Love and light collective. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.